Howdy Authority Agent Academy agents and principals and brokers and all the rest of you. Um, so this video, I just wanted to take a few minutes and, well actually probably going to be five or ten, but not two. I want to take a few minutes and just show you the basics of tripods. Um, it's the one thing I haven't had a chance to record a video of properly yet. I'll show you a few basics about tripods uh, and how to get up and running. So. First thing I want to say is that tripods range in price, uh, when I'm talking a, a proper, a real one, not a, a, a $10 one that I got for a desk use in Kmart, which you would have seen already, but tripods cost anywhere from, oh, I think I've seen them for about $30 um, on up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, I've got three, not deliberate, it just kind of happened. I had one that, which was that one I just showed you. For years I lost the little adapter plug off the top of it so I had to go out and buy another one because I couldn't use it and then somebody gave my sister gave me a tripod that she's no longer using so three is three but anyway so the first thing I'll say about tripods you don't need to spend a lot of money when you're getting started um, you know that one there is um, actually the one this camera is on it cost me 50 bucks I don't remember how much that cost because I bought that some years ago but the one I've got here which is a, a Yellowstone tripod I bought it from JB Hi-Fi cost me 50 bucks. You don't need to spend hundreds of dollars. That's the real key thing. So that's your starting point. As you get more sophisticated, as your video productions get more advanced, maybe when you get an assistant helping you, you may want to go to something more advanced. Particularly if you start to move to um, having a tripod when you're filming moving action. And what you'll find with the cheap tripods is that they, they don't scroll smoothly they actually kind of shake and shutter. You don't notice it until you do it, and I found out the hard way some years ago. Um, so you can then get more advanced tripods which have a, a smooth flowing action. I can't remember the name of it, um, but if you go to any camera shop, they'd be able to advise you on that. But you don't need that to start with. So let's just start with this first. So the key for a tripod is this little thing here. And they all look slightly different. And what it basically does is it clips into the top there. You just pop this lever out. And it clips in, and I'm hoping I don't drop this while I'm doing this one-handed. Just clips in there. There we go. And it's all locked in place. And that's every, most tripods will have something like that. The occasional one will um, have the, the little screw which you can just see there, that's that thing there. I, from memory, I think it's a quarter inch or something, and that's a standard across all tripods. And then what you do is you take your tripod clip, so here's an example of one that can go uh, on a smartphone, and you just screw it onto that little fella there, and just do it up tight. making sure, of course, i just push that little thing down there, making sure that when you do it up tight that the phone is in the right position. So in this case, the phone goes in there, so I would probably want to turn this around. So the easiest way to do that is just to take this out, flip it around 180 degrees, put it back in, up, get my finger caught, and there it is now facing the right way. I just have to do it up again. and take your phone and clip it in and bobs your auntie as they say. So that's the first thing. Secondly, um, most tripods have extendable legs and you can just see these clips here. The, the different models are going to have a different setup but this is fairly typical and it just stretches out um, so you can have it as short or as long as you want it. Those clips come up. Um, so you might say, well, why do you want, why aren't they just all long? Well, the, the, if you've got the short one, <coughs> what you can do is you don't even have to extend them at all, but you might want to be in a position where you put your tripod on something other than the ground. So maybe you mount it up on a table, and there we have our tripod, which we obviously open that way. And usually, to have a something here that screws it in place and locks it down. And you then have a tripod ready to go. 
Okay. So um, you may you may want to mount it perhaps on a table or on a cupboard or a bench, in which case you don't have to extend the legs. You can just have a short one, so that could be useful putting it on a table. Well, even if you may be sitting down in a chair talking and you just want the, the camera or the phone just a little bit above your hot head looking down at you, that's probably the best way to go. Um, so that's what I'd recommend. Now the other thing also I just wanted to quickly show you is this little fella. So I picked this up for $4.74, very expensive, not, off eBay. You might say, well what the hell is it? Well, I'll show you. It's got a little clip on the back and it comes up and down. And we take my Samsung tablet or your iPad or whatever the case may be. Lift it up, clip it down there, you can see it on the back and this one just clips locked like that. And you have your standard quarter inch screw there and that can be tied, clipped onto the tripod as well. So if you wanted to be using a, see, you can see the, the phone that's videoing you. Um, if you wanted to use a tablet to record your content, maybe your phone's not very good or you just, for whatever reason, some people like to take photos and video with their tablet. This is another way you can mount this on a tablet, uh, on a tripod and use that. Uh, the other thing you can use this for, and this is the reason I bought it, is it, it's a, a cheapy um, uh, teleprompter. So you can mount that on a tripod facing you and buy software or like an app for your thing that re, um, you put your, t your script in and it rec scrolls the script down or the teleprompter app and you're just reading it and recording it from the, um, the phone. So I've recorded a separate video for you demonstrating that. Um, that's a good way to get started with probably under 10 bucks. The cost, as I said, cost 474 for this, came from China, off eBay, that's including shipping. And um, this, the app, well, the one I've got to start with, I think, cost me $2, and there's another one I'm about to buy and test, which I think might be a better app, and that cost me, I think that's going to cost me about 6 or $7. So if we say 10 to $15 max, you've got yourself a teleprompter if you already have one. Um, if you have an iPad mini or a smaller size tablet, it will still accommodate that down to that height, obviously. So it should, should be fine for that kind of thing. Um, one thing I haven't tried, let me just see if it does this, no, see it won't fit if for what, some reason I wanted to do it that way, I don't know why I would, but anyway. So, definitely worth getting if you have a tablet or if you're planning to have a tablet, whether you use it as a teleprompter or um, to record your videos, it doesn't really matter. And just something to think of, if you've got a phone and a tablet, you actually have two separate cameras, so I've got a phone. I've got two phones and a tablet. I've got three if I need to, and luckily enough I have three tripods. I don't recommend going out and buying it, it's just the way it happened. Um, but if I need to shoot footage with three separate cameras at once, I've now got the option to do it. Um, the only thing missing, of course, is three microphones. I've got two, one that you can see, probably can't see, but it's just there. And the second one you can see there is the microphone and the clip and of course this little thing here. Um, I got these from BusyVid, busyvid.com, which is a, um, an Australian company based out of Sydney and they're also in the US as well. Uh, off the top of my head, I think it was about $40 US roughly, um, and it's a four meter long cable, so there's plenty of room between you and the camera, and they're great. I'm actually really impressed with them. I've had a couple of previous um, um, these are called lavalier microphones. I've had a couple of previous ones that weren't that good. Um, this one's actually awesome. So happy to have two of them. Happy to recommend people go to BusyVid and buy them if they want some. So that's the basics of tripods. Um, so as I say, you don't need to go out and spend a couple of hundred dollars. Please don't do that to start with. You can do it later on if you want, when you get a little bit more fancy. $50 roughly, you can get something good from um, somewhere like JB Hi-Fi or um, Harvey Norman, or if you're in the States, I'm sure the Best Buy and a few of those guys would have this kind of stuff. Uh, no idea what um, kind of shops you'd buy from in the UK. I know you can shop on Amazon in the UK as well. Um, so, you know, don't need to buy something exorbitant. One other thing to keep in mind when you're buying a tripod is the, the height of the tripod. So when it's fully extended 
and also, this is something I didn't show you and I just thought of, most tripods have a, a handle and they allow you to wind this up so you get some more height out of it. Some of them will have it, some of them won't. But here's the thing to consider. If you're tall, I'm not particularly tall, I'm 5 foot 10 in the old money. If you're 6 foot 2 or 6 foot 4 or something like that, um, you may find that your tripod isn't actually high enough to be even on eye level with you. Um, so, you know, and if you're 7 foot tall, well, you may have to spend a lot of money or have somebody mounted on a box for you. <laughs> Um, but just something to keep in mind, um, different, different tripods come in different heights, so just have a look around when you're um, buying them at the extended length of it. So when the legs are all out and everything's wound up and all that kind of stuff, then just check that out. Um, one little tip, if you have a little problem and you can't find a tripod big enough, this thing here, it's not ideal, but if you put it in a bit and then tighten it, um, it actually raises the, because the legs are coming in a little bit more, it raises the tripod a little bit. It's not ideal, but it's, it's certainly an option that would um, get you over a, a height issue if you do have one with the tripod. So that is it for tripods. So get out there, get yourself at least one. Don't need to buy two or three or anything stupid like I've done. And um, get started recording video. Go to eBay, order one of those things. Um, I'll see if I can find the link to the... Um, the shop, uh, the eBay seller I bought it from and put it in the, um, the notes below. And um, that's assuming you've got a tablet, of course. And get out there and start recording some videos. Okay, I'll speak to you again soon.